Hello everyone. Welcome to Education for Next Generation. Myself, Mrs. Mini Saji. Today going to teach you a third topic of the 10th class that is transportation, the circulatory system. As we know that all living organism, we need to transport many things in our body. Not only we human being, all the living, living forms, they need to transport like food nutrients, gases and as well as the excretory product has to transport hormones which are formed in our body that has to reach from one place to other place. All these transportation of the materials, we need a system which is helpful for transporting all the substances from one place to other place. For this, small animals or that microscopic or unicellular organisms for them or single celled organisms which we call it, just like your amoeba or multicellular primitive organisms which we call it as hydra. For them, just a diffusion and osmosis is the process by which they are transporting the substances in their body. For example, like amoeba, amoeba is a single celled organism. It, it lives in water or aquatic form of life. For them, cytoplasmic streaming is takes place. The cytoplasmic streaming through that substance move in the cytoplasm from one place to other and they are transporting the substance each and every part of their body. And they are primitive in structure. So there is no problem for amoeba for any transportation. A good system is not required for them just by means of diffusion. against the concentration gradient and osmosis is enough for transporting the substances in their body. For example, just like hydrilla or hydra, you can see that hydra sponges in that or aquatic life like aquatic plants, hydrilla, you are taking an example for them. Also diffusion is the mechanism with which their exchange of gases takes place in them. Here hydra is the multicellular but forms a simple life because it has only one opening for oral cavity through which the substances which are dissolved in water can get inside through water current. Exchange of gases takes place here, oxygen diffuse into the cells, cells here and carbon dioxide come back into the cavity and which will come out of this. So here also we can see like hydra also diffusion and osmosis is enough for the transportation of substances from one place to another. But when we come to uh, higher plants like tall trees like redwood trees or eucalyptus trees where you can see when the tall trees where they need to transport the substances to at least a uh, hundred meters or you can say a hundred feet they have to move when long distances they have to supply, then this osmosis and diffusion is not enough for transportation. So that time we need a well developed system that should help us for the transportation. Like a redwood tree or eucalyptus which is the tallest tree in the world. For that highest long distance transportation, they need to transport uh, different cells through which water and food materials 
are taken up for either unidirection or bidirectional way like xylem in plants xylem is that one hollow type of tubular cells which are helping in the conduction of food material and water purpose xylem and phloem two conductive tissues are present xylem conducts water and minerals from root from roots to shoots direction phloem it transports food material from leaves to different parts of the body of the plant body leaves are the main site for the photosynthetic process they may make they make food here and they transport it to different parts maybe upper part or maybe lower part so it is transporting food material food material to either bidirectional pathway and these two are bulk flows so wherever bulk flow is there there only higher plants and animals opt diffusion and osmosis only for bulk flow or mass flow purpose only in higher plants you can see either osmosis or diffusion mechanism is used but coming to animals same like plants for higher animals or multicellular animals we can see that they are also only for bulk flow purpose only osmosis and diffusion takes place other than that for higher animals we need a separate well developed system which is helpful for transportation of the materials just like for multicellular animals their body is made up of trillions of cell then only by means of diffusion and osmosis is not enough otherwise that process will slow very slow and makes the animal very slow if only we are depending on diffusion and osmosis in such cases multicellular animals they have developed our own their system in which they have develop the system which is containing a muscular sac like structure which we call it as a heart in higher animals the organ which comes under circulatory system is the heart and blood vessels the blood vessels in which two types of blood vessels which we call it one as arteries and the other one is veins have developed and later on a uh, one more system has developed in that that is lymphatic system these uh, systems are helpful for us for transporting the substances heart and blood vessels comes under that circulatory or transport system so higher animals they have opted a 
separate system for transportation in which heart and blood vessels will come arteries they are the carrier of the good blood or you can say oxygenated blood and veins carry the deoxygenated blood lymphatic system is the another system which has developed the tissues they contain the intracellular spaces the water and other substances that can be transported through the lymphatic system so this entire system has developed in the higher animals for the transportation purpose apart from that they have need a fluid connective tissue which we call it blood blood is also a fluid connective tissue tissue which contains some cells which we call it as rbc red blood cells wbc white blood cells blood platelets and the liquid part of the blood the fluid part which is called as plasma this blood is required for the transportation of the substances in all over the body because as coming to human beings or higher animals we eat we take food either in the form of solid we consume some food which is in solid state we consume some kind of liquid foods which are in liquid state and we take in air in that oxygen and carbon dioxide diffusion takes place this is a gaseous state in that and through the food which is in the nutrients form we will simplest form absorption is there in our body waste material is also generated that also has to transport in the form of either carbon dioxide or it is in the form of urea or it is in the form of uric acid or in other aquatic animals it may be in the form of ammonia this we need to transport next we need to transport either hormones enzymes this all are need we need to transport through a one proper system for this all transportation whether it is nutrient or it is a gaseous gaseous form of air or it is a liquid form of any food all these substances